All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change the internal anodes. To change the internal anodes of these Yamahas is a little bit more complicated because you have to remove the crankcase. First, remove the bolt cover. All right, one of the anodes is right here. First, I remove this cover here. The other two anodes are more difficult because I have to remove all the spark plugs and all these bolts around here, all the way to the bottom here. Remove all these bolts so I can get to the anode in there. It was just a little bit more time consuming. Now I have to remove all these bolts all the way around. All right, there's bolts all the way through on the sides. Even in the bottom here, there's several bolts. And also right through here, there's four bolts in here that need to be removed next to the spark plug inlet. Okay, now with some pliers, we'll push the spins in here. There it is. They come up very easy. Take all these ones, this ones, and also here, you push this little clip down. Remove this. So we can take the whole wire harness out. This one at the bottom here. All right, the wire harness is almost out. And before we remove the casing, there's another little hose here that we need to prop open here. Yeah, this hose right there. And to make it easier, I'm going to remove the lid here on top of the motor. Now it makes it a lot easier to remove this here. One and out there and another one down here. There's two bolts. All right, make sure you don't drop these bolts. All right, now it should come out very easily. There it is. This is the old one. Doesn't look that bad. Uh, this motor only has 250 hours. Uh, this is the new one. I also got brand new grommets also to do the installation 100%. So 250 hours is not that bad, but I wanted to change them ahead of time. All right, what I wanna do is to take this off. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna unscrew it. Comes up very easy. All right. See how it goes in here? Very simple. All right, we're gonna remove the bushing. Clean up in here a little bit. Get the new grommet in. Now position the new grommet. As you can see, the anode is not that bad. 250 hours, definitely it's not bad. I think 500 hours, like the manufacturer says to do, I think it's ideal. But since I've been in very harsh salt water environment, um, I wanted to see what the conditions are and once I see the conditions, I'll just exchange it anyway to be safe. 
Now I don't have to worry about it in another 500 hours. Now I'm going to tie it up. All right, perfect. Place it in the engine block. All right, before you tie this one on, place the other bolt. And now I'm gonna to move to the bottom one. This one should come out very easy too. There it is. Now this one's a little worse, but it's not in terrible conditions. Okay, now we'll place it in here. Repeat the same process. Same process as the first one. Now I'm gonna install the crankcase cover. And first I wanna put the bottom in and then work the top up like this. Very simple. All right, now I'm gonna position a couple of bolts to hold it in place. Now the inside bolts, where the spark plugs go. I'm gonna put them all in place, and then afterwards, I'm going to um, tie them all up at the same time. So that way the gasket sits perfectly. All right, after tying the bolts correctly on the cranking case, now I'm gonna connect the wire harness. And this one, just push it down. There it is. And have to connect this hose back here. hose just goes in here placed in you don't have to secure it just push it all the way in there you go and securing these little clips up here all the way to the bottom over here so secure there and now the spark plug connectors Now we'll put all the bolts back. All snuck in. All right, before I move to the other end node, on the side end node, make sure that everything here is correctly. Now remove this one. This one only has one bolt. Move this hose a little bit here. Take it out. How it looks. It's not that bad. All right, place a new note here. Fasten the bolt. Okay, it's fastened already. It's done. Now that I have put everything back together, one last thing to do is to crank at the engine, let it run for 5-10 minutes to see if there's any oil leaks on the crankcase. Very important. Alright, since the engine has been running for about 10 minutes, there's no oil residue anywhere around the seal of the crankcase, so everything is working perfect. Now I'm going to shut it off and put everything back together. I always spray some silicone spray on the entire engine. Now I'm gonna set the spark plug cover. There's two little bushings here on the side. Just place it in. Once you have it in the bottom place, pull it forward. All right, and that's how you change the anode on a Yamaha 200. I believe the 175 and the 150 are very similar and i'll place the link in the description below the three grommets 
and the three and that i use very simple to do if you take your time uh, remove the crankcase make sure you put everything back together and test the engine for any oil leaks um, afterwards and if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and always navigate safe